W.C. Tuttle's famous adventure story of Hashknife Hartley and Sleepy Stephen. From the pages of America's best-loved writer of Western tales come Hashknife and Sleepy, roving heroes of the ageless West, starring Frank Martin as Hashknife Hartley and Barton Yarborough as Sleepy Stephen. Here now is the creator of these rough-and-tumble cowboys, W.C. Tuttle himself, ready to begin today's story called The Double Cross. Howdy, folks. Hashknife and Sleepy have just ridden into the outskirts of Arroyo City. As they pass a small and homely little cottage, Sleepy quietly observes... Son, when I get too old and tired to chase over them far-off hills, that's the kind of place I'm going to settle down in. Yeah, cowboy? It's real home-like. Man could find a lot of peace and quiet there. But appearances are deceiving, for although this was the preacher's home, the peace and quiet was soon broken by a violently interrupted wedding. Unaware of what was about to happen, Hashknife and Sleepy rode on into Arroyo City... Brown hitched their horses in some shade and headed for the Silk Hat Saloon, mighty glad to get in out of the scorching midday Arizona sun. While working on a dusty trail dust thirst, the two roving cowpokes noticed that the bartender, Slim Conover, appeared to be mighty upset. Well, friend, you're nervous in a small boy in a dark room. That's the second time you missed a glass. Something eating on you? Yeah. Yeah, it sure is. I'm scared I told something I shouldn't. <laughs> How's that? Well, uh, remember that big fellow, Ed Harmon, who came in here a few minutes ago asking for Otto Myers? I told him Otto was out of town, and then he asked for Tom Knight, remember? Well, I think I can manage, being all at ten minutes. What about it? Well, Otto Myers is the sheriff, and Tom's his deputy. You see, I loan Tom my claw hammer coat. Loan him his water tail, huh? Yeah. Well, of course, that clears everything up. You also told him uh, that this Tom feller was acting his best man. When he asked you where, you said at the preacher's house. Uh, uh, you're awful observant. I, I, I kind of hoped I didn't make it that plain. So, uh, wedding's taking place. Yeah, wedding. Married. Ruins more nice young fella. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Uh, hey. Where, 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 Come on, Cleveland. Uh, well, I don't see nobody trying to get away. Must use a rifle. In one of the buildings. Oh, i never find him now. Let's take a look at the target. Yeah. Yeah, good shooting. Both shots had his number on him. He won't be needing a sheriff now. Who is he? I'm the dog on. That's Ed Harmon. Owns the Circle H Spread. Biggest in the valley. Yeah, and was the father of the prettiest gal in Yavapai Basin. Poor little Joy. Uh, real pretty, huh? Yep, real pretty. And she was one half of that wedding team. Oh, uh-huh. And the other half was Jimmy Pierce. Nice youngster, a little quick on the trigger, but likable. Say, somebody better get Doc McBride. The Sawbones, we can't do harm in any good now. I know, but we're real law-abiding in the Arroyo City. Nobody's dead here till Doc says so. Yeah, it's going to be right interesting hearing you explain that to the late Ed Harmon there. About time, Doc. Yeah, I couldn't get here any sooner, Slim. I came as soon as I heard. Now, uh, let's take a look here. Uh, Ed Harbin is quite dead. Hmm. Amazing what doctor schooling will do. Man, have I got something to tell us? Lord Almighty, that's Ed Harmon. Dead? Mm-hmm. Just made legal by the doc here. Who are you? Uh, Tom, meet up with Hashknife Hartley and Sleepy Stevens. They was here when Ed got it. Uh, boys, this here is Tom Knight. He's deputy to Sheriff Otto Mark. Oh, hi, hi, Tom. Dad. Ed Harmon dead it. Oh, my gosh. Well, Tom, I didn't know you was that attached to Ed. Well, it, it ain't that. I... Oh, this ain't good. Well, most killings ain't, Mr. Deputy. Tom, what are you talking about? Well, it, it's this way. Joy Harmon and Jimmy Pierce and me was at the preacher's house where Jimmy and Joy was getting married. Ed Harmon busted in and grabbed a handful of Jimmy's shirt, yanked him loose from the floor, smashed him on the chin, threw him out the yard. Then he took Joy by the arm and yanked her out of the house. Hmm. Sort of looks like Harmon didn't want his daughter to marry that Pierce fellow. And with Jimmy's temper, he's liable to... Oh, oh, what am I saying? Well, there ain't much we can do until Sheriff Myers gets back. 
Uh, would some of you boys carry it over to my place? Oh, right, sure, Doc. Yeah. Then we all better go to the sheriff's office. I ought to be back pretty soon. Hey, oh, Tom, uh, before you go, better give me back my coat. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, Slim. Uh, here. Is that the coat you was doing about, Slim? Uh, yeah. Why? That's what I'm wondering. Why? What was you doing at the wedding, Tom? Well, being I'm Jimmy's best friend, I was acting as best man. At least I was till Harmon came in. Uh-huh. And where was you when the shooting took place? On my hands and knees at the preacher's house, trying to find a wedding ring. Hmm. What'd become of Jimmy Pierce? I don't know, hardly. Never seen him after he was thrown out through the front door. Uh, you sure ain't much help. Go saddle up the horses, Tom. We are going out and bring in Jimmy Pierce. Oh, now, look here, Sheriff. Jimmy never... Tom! All right. Meet you at the stable. Sheriff, you think it's Jimmy Pierce shot Harmon? Uh, I... Yeah, I don't know what to think. I just can't figure Jimmy doing a thing like that. Hmm. Did Harmon have any known enemies? No, I... I don't know. Oh, what kind of answer is that? Well, Harmon Circle H is the biggest spread on the range. He also owns the Royal City San Miguel stage line. He's made money, and, well, some folks might be envious. Oh, yeah, uh huh. I know the fellow once who was a dad busted full of envy soap the jailhouse death. Why? Begrudged the free room and board them poor jail intimates was getting. Yeah. How was. Intimates. How was Harmon with his money? Oh, Ed was right free with his money. Only a month ago, he offered $3,000 reward for... Gee, that's something a plum forgot. What's that? The reward Ed posted for the capture of El Pintado. El What is that? Spanish cowboy means the pinto, don't it? But why that handle? Yeah, it does. Well, this fellow always rides a black and white horse. He's done a lot of killing and robbing. Mostly on the stages. Well, all you got to do to find this fellow is find the pinto horse. And then you... Stevens? All the lawmen in this country have tried to do just that, but there ain't one pinto in this whole range. Mm. For a range hotel, this place sure sets a good table. Oh, mm. so so. I keep wondering about yesterday, son. Ain't you curious about what's going on? Hmm. Yeah. Hotel men said they brought that Jimmy Pierce in late last night. Mm -hmm. We might go over to the jailhouse and word grind him a little bit. Yeah, might. But he'll keep. Right now, I kind of like to nose around those hills just east of town. Well, why is that? Mm -hmm. Rough country, close to Royal City. Make an awful good hiding out place for somebody who'd want to hide out. Well, who would want to hide out there? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That bent old feller... Maybe. Yeah, see anything, Hashna? No. Nah. Brush is too thick. Better hold up. It's here about as far as we can go. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. What? Well, what do you know? A blind canyon. Look at them walls. Straight up. Uh-huh. Well, I guess it's sleepy. You smell anything? No, I can't. Uh-oh, smoke. And you don't need to remind me that where there's smoke, there's fire. Let's get on out of here. Easy, cowboy. Look back there, the way we came. Wait. Look at that fire. It's coming faster than a spooked up maverick full of loco weed. Suddenly caught. Oh, I just hope I ain't going to be as sorry as I think I'm going to be. Only way out the way we came in. Turn that app loose of yours around and start rolling toward it. And we can find a way through it. Hit up. Let's get Sleepy! Quick, pull over here to right. Get that wall. Are oh, you crazy? Don't or... argue. Get on this overhang rock. Quick! Get right. Ain't much but the outcrop right angle to the canyon like this. Might funnel a fire away from it. Oh, 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 oh. Now your bandana over his eye. We got a chance of making it by staying right here. If a horse don't go. <laughs> realized what a blessing water really was so we 
Got out of that blazing canyon and found his creek with a regular swimming hole in it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's the matter with you, son? You got a rock digging in your back? No. I was just thinking that pinto feller must have seen us. Sure trapped us slick. Mm, darn near roasted him. Right now, looks like he's holding all the aces and face cards. He knows who we are, but we don't know who he is. Yeah, it kind of scares me. Right now, I feel like I ain't got enough backbone to hang up and wrap. Well, we, we might go back to the Royal City Jail and have a little talk with that Jimmy Pierce fellow. Well, then, let's hurry. Come on. I was pretty mad and figured I'd better get out of town before I did something I'd be sorry for. Uh-huh. Did you gun down Ed Harmon, Jimmy? I swear I didn't. I didn't like him, but I'd never kill him. Well, he busted up the wedding and worked you over good. I'd say he did that because he didn't like you. Look, Ash Knife, old man Harmon had a lot of money. I'm a cowhand, make 30 a month and found. I guess he figured I couldn't take care of Joy properly on that. Uh-huh. Harmon have any enemies you know of? I mean, anyone that'd want to kill him? No. Harmon was a big operator... Probably trampled on a few toes, but I don't know if anyone would want to murder him. Oh, hi, son. I wasn't sure you'd still be here. Sleep, this is Jimmy Pierce. Oh, hi, Jimmy. Oh, well, did you find out anything nice enough? Not much, but Pierce here has convinced me he didn't kill Harmon. Oh, son, I could have told you that. It was that dad busted Pinto feller done it. But he couldn't have... What was you going to say? Nothing. Nothing at all. Sleep, he said this Pinto feller must have done Harmon. You said he couldn't have. You know something and you're holding back. No, no, I ain't that nice. Look, young fella, you got about the same prospect as a three-weeks-old jackrabbit in a coyote pack. If you didn't kill Harmon, maybe Hash Knife here can help you out of this mess. But you got to string along, too. Well? Well, I didn't want to say anything. I kept the secret because of joy. You two got to promise me not to tell anybody what I'm going to tell you. We'll promise if it won't protect no killer. It won't. Because, you see, El Pentado couldn't have killed Ed Harmon. Well, Dad, gum it, don't stop now. Because Ed Harmon was El Pentado. Oh, what? You sure? Yeah, I know, and I wish I didn't. How come you're so certain? Can you prove it? For well, sure. It was like this. About three years ago. Hey, you Jimmy. They would bust him right now. Mm. Howdy, Sheriff, huh? Uh, Howdy, boy. Well, Sleepy, guess we better be moseying and let Jimmy eat in peace. Yeah, I reckon so. Thank you, Tom, for letting me jaws, Jimmy. Oh, sure. Anytime, Hartley. Come on, Sleepy, let's do it. Well, thanks, Ash, huh? Bye, Sleepy. Mm. Where are we going to, sir? I want to take a little pass here out to the Harmon spread. Well, now we've been out to the Harmon place. Did you find out anything at hell? Yeah, not much. Yeah, that means you did get something. You going to tell me? I don't think. Well, when we was looking over the riding stock, I got the makings of an idea how that pinto horse business might be worth. Well, how? Made a particular point to find out which was Ed Harmon's mount. As soon as I saw it, I began to put two and two together. Yeah, well, will you quit Jean and hoeing? You got me busting with curiosity. <laughs> yeah, you know, good work real easy. You see, Harmon's one. Ah! Head them rocks, Levy. I'm way ahead of you, son. Get up. Dad, bust it. If it's that kind of old fella again, so help me, I'm going to blow his head Better pile down old fat. Thank you, Sleepy, or I'll have to catch this pin old fella all by myself. Oh, ain't you funny. Hey, guys, don't shoot. It's me. Get it here. Over here, Pierce. Holster that rifle. All right, Yeah. Yeah, he's holstering his rifle. Better keep him covered, though. Son, he's covered like a marshmallow on a anthill. How come he's out of jail? How do I know? Keep your finger on the place, Will. Find out in a minute. Doc, John, I thought you two'd never start back from home. Jimmy, how'd you get out of jail? Tom Knight worked it. A while after you left, he went over to the silk hat and heard the boys talking about the killing of Ed Harmon. Seems they figured I was sore about him beating me up and that I'd done it. Well, most of the boys was drinking, and you know how whiskey talk is. Well, they got themselves all worked up and decided a lynching would cure me of my evil way. Well, it might at that. Sleepy. Now, look, Jimmy, you never did finish telling us how you figured Ed Harmon was a pinto fella. Oh, that's right. The sheriff and Tom come busting in with the bills. 
Mm-hmm. Well, about uh, three years ago, I seen that pinto horse for the first time. It was Ed's horse. and His horse was white, and he daubed it with mud or clay or something and made a pinto out of it. Run a horse in a creek, and it was white again. Simple. How'd you know that? Yes. It's been done before. No pintos on this range, so it'd have to be a white horse patched with black or a black horse picked up with white somewhere. Why, if that ain't a regular double dyed double kill. You got it figured right, Ashner. I caught Ed once making the King joints horse. That's why he hated me. I never told him, though, because of joy. One thing, though, bothers me. If Ed Harmon had a lot of money, why'd he go around robbing as this pinto feller? I don't know. Unless it was because Ed Harmon was the kind of fellow that never got enough. The more he got, the more he wanted. Well, I better be going. And thanks, fellas, for trying to help. Jimmy, promise me something, will you? you sure, Hatch, nice if I can. Even if Tom brings you the grub and money, don't pull out until after I've seen you again, huh? Huh? Oh, now, look, I better You better do just like Hash Knife says. When that nose of his gets it twitching like it is now, he's on the trail or something. Ain't you, Hash Knife? Maybe. Well, what do you say? Well, all right, Hash Knife, I'll take a chance. I'll wait at the line check till I hear from you. Good. Well, let's get going, Sleepy. I got some nosing around I want to do in Arroyo City. My luck holds good. I might come up with some amazing answers. Hey, jump! Hit him! Hit him! Now, look, Slim, this is mighty important. You sure there ain't been no lynch talk here at the still cast? How many times I have to tell you there ain't been no lynch talk. In fact, Royal City has been a special quiet since Ed Harmon was killed. Uh-huh. And what does uh-huh mean? Say, I just recollected something. You boys just got back in town. Maybe you ain't heard the news. What news? Well, uh, shortly after you come in here yesterday asking directions to the Harmon place, Jimmy Pierce busted out of jail. Oh, he did? Oh, hmm. That's against the law or something, man. Eh? How'd he do it? Hey, he jumped Tom Knight and grabbed his gun when he wasn't looking. Threatened to kill Tom if he didn't let him out. And then the fight beginning to think Jimmy might have shot Ed Harmon after all. Just think of that. Uh, threatening to kill your best man. Tom Knight said uh, Jimmy threatened to kill him? Yeah. Then Jimmy bragged how he fooled everyone being El Pinto. Hey, wh- huh? So Tom says Jimmy admitted to being the Pinto fella. Yeah. Said he needed money for joy and... Well, that Jim was the biggest, flattest face liar I... So he was a pinto feller after all. Thanks, Slim. Come on, cowboy. We got places to go. Why, well, you ain't said where we're headed for. To see Deputy Sheriff Tom Knight. Well, why him? Well, ain't you figured it out yet? Figured what out? Sleepy, sometimes I kind of get the feeling you got more brawn than brains. Uh, on second thought, about 50-50, I'd say. Well, thank you, son. Uh, but if Jimmy Pierce is that pinto fella, why are we bother him with that jug-headed deputy? Let's get him ourselves. We're still going to see the sheriff and Tom Nye. Oh, let's go get the pinto. You know, Sleepy, when the good Lord was passing out brains, you must have been better hit out than Moses in a bulrush. <laughs> all wrong about Jimmy. Never figured he'd turn bad the way he did. Uh, me being Jimmy's best friend, I sure hate to join this posse with you, Sheriff. Tom, what gave you the idea that maybe you'll be in this shack? Yeah, Tom, we could be wasting a lot of time riding clear out here to some butte. If you get strong. Oh, just a hunch. Of course, I ain't certain he'll be there. I got a feeling he might. We used to fish up here. Hey, Snap, what is happening? I'm as confused as a Comanche brave at a quilting bee. Just hang on, sweetie. It won't be long. Better pull up here. Go ahead on foot. Oh, 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 oh. This way. Keep it quiet. Smoke coming out of the chimney. Uh huh. That means my guess what. Hold it. There he is. Fishing down at the creek. Mm. Well, I for one ain't going to take no chance with that murdering. Hold it, Tom. Oh! Yeah, you grab my arm. Jimmy. Jimmy Pierce. Don't reach for your gun. We got you covered. Now come on peaceable with your hands up. So, Ash, Knife, and Tom. You both tricked me. You lied to me. Take it easy. You'll be fair treated. Yeah, I sure hate to bet on that. Jimmy Pierce, I hereby arrest you for the... Hold it, Sheriff. What's it? What's it? 
There have been some monkey shines going on you ain't been aware of. Just stand easy. It'll work out. Jimmy, you can let your hands down now. Answer me one question. Was Tom Knight ever in love with Joy Harmon? Well, yeah. We courted her together, but when she promised me, he stepped aside, and that was an end to it. That's all I need to know. Jimmy, Tom's been aiming your neck straight for a noose. Hey, what are you talking about? The fight between you and Ed Harmon gave him the idea to gun down Harmon and make you look like a killer. Well, uh, lies. They're all lies. Hartley can't prove nothing. Tom, we was friends since we was kids. We hunted and fished and went sparking together. I trusted you. But now I'm calling you a lion yellow. I'll kill you! Oh! Nice shooting, Jimmy. Your number's up, Tom. Might be a good idea to try and clear yourself with Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy, everything Hartley said was true. Yeah, one thing more, Tom. You told Slim that Jimmy boasted of being a pinto fella. That was a lie, too. You see, I was El Pintado. Listen again next week at this time when Sagebrush Theater will bring you another story of the Old West recorded from the library of radio programs of many years ago. This is the United States Armed Forces Radio Service. Thank you.